Good morning, everybody. I'm Eris, and this is episode 20 of Let's Play Relics of Hyrule. And I don't remember where we last left off. We're trying to make our way to solitude. Something like that. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. We found um, the uh, the secret grotto over in East March. And which which was like amazing. I usually spend hours looking for that when I'm trying to on purpose. Apparently, it's just one of those places you you literally have to stumble into, <laughs> which is I don't know weird because it's not. I mean, it's hidden, but it's static. It's in the same spot no matter where you know what character you have. So anyway, uh, yeah, woo, we found it. <laughs> um, Oh man, I'm level 13. Whoop whoop. I have to admit, I really like this, uh, the loading screen. The Some Thieves Can't Read. If you can't read, get someone to read this book for you. It'll make more sense then. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about that that tickles me. So we have our eye long trek up to solitude I think we're gonna I think like following the plan from last time we are going to try to make it up to Windhelm which we should easily do um, I'm debating about catching some type of like carriage or boat ride up there it's really difficult to do when you have frostfall running just, all right Everyone's... You've got an arrow in you, buddy. It's a cow! Look at a cow. When I was growing up, we lived in, like, basically an old farmhouse. And, uh, our... our across, the, across the street neighbors... I, I want you to keep this in your mind across the street neighbors had a ranch with a few cows like I mean it wasn't like a working ranch they had like five or six cows and in the summer they would escape their fence cross the busy street it was one of these like country roads where it was like 45 miles per hour but everyone goes 60 like it's this is not in town this is like out in the country they would cross the busy road break into our yard which was fenced and then just stare into the windows and it was like the weirdest day thing um cows are bizarre <laughs> i can't even tell if they were eating our grass or not like they were they would just come in and like poke their heads into the window like what are y'all doing <laughs> it was it was very strange Anyway, that's how I grew up. <laughs> Cows, like, poking their heads into the window. It would happen all the time. Also, I, I apparently am not born to be a rancher because it was impossible to get those things to move. Like, I, I honestly don't know how cowboys do it. Like, those, the cow, like... They would not move if they didn't want to. They would just be like, hey, like, I weigh hundreds of pounds more than you do. <laughs> I'm gonna stand here. Oh god, something is attacking me. Oh my god. Oh. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. Also, it's super dark. I, I hate it when it's super dark. Okay, that's not good. Friends. Also, you know what? My friends will catch up. 
it's it's rainy and I want to not be here. Or is it rainy or is it just that waterfall thing? Eh. I'm, I'm gonna say it's rainy because it's dark. <laughs> it's probably just dark. Collect all the things! Do I have an, I have an arrow in me too. Ah! Don't fall off the mountain. And now I'm stuck in the crevice. Are we still headed the right way? No! Oh my god! How did... Ugh. Okay. Let's try this again. We are now pointed the right way. Okay, clearly it's raining because I'm wet. <laughs> my meter just told me I am wet. And on another note, personally, I'm hungry. <laughs> like, my, my stomach just growled. I should probably have eaten something before I started recording. Too late now! Speaking of which, totally, there we go. Totally forgot to start the timer. Boop, boop. Alright. Don't, don't. Come on, don't freeze. There we go. Ugh. Alright. Oh god. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to tangle with you today. Nope, nope, nope. Just, I'm just totally walking my own way. Just, just going around. No, nothing to see over here. Okay, thanks. God, why is it, it's like, laggy today? I'm still heading the right direction. Yes. All right. That's uh. That's this road is good. So I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild. It's quickly kind of surpassing my uh, my go-to game um, it, which used to be Ocarina of Time <laughs> like I was I was joking on Twitter the other day um, my Twitter handle is the same as my YouTube channel so if you ever want to you know come hang out over there um, I'm on Twitter like honestly way too much <laughs> like all the time doesn't even seem like enough of a statement <laughs> you know, for, for how often I'm on Twitter. Um, anyway, but yeah, I was joking, I was joking on Twitter the other day, um, I retweeted something and I was like, it, it's me, uh, like replace, you know, the video game with, with all creative time and it's me, uh, cause it was, uh, like, look at my shelves of unplayed Xbox 360 games or, or whatever, and I'd be like, well, <laughs> gonna go play all creative time. For the four trillionth time, <laughs> and I'm like, that that's it. That's that's my like. I I actually have a few games that I've literally never taken out of the plastic wrap, and I'm I don't even know why I still have them. I mean, I've had I've owned them. And they've been in my possession for years, and I like they're still in the plastic wrap. And at some point, I probably will play it, but. Who knows when? <laughs> cause, cause I'll be like, oh, I want to play a video game. I'm gonna go play Link. <laughs> like, that's just my normal default mode. Anyway, but as I started this conversation with with myself, um, I think I'm going the right way. Okay. Um, God, I hate, it's rainy and it's super dark. Like, I am finding myself going more and more to, ooh, great, um, Ocarina, or not Ocarina of Time, uh, Breath of the Wild, and like, which is weird because there's parts of Breath of the Wild that actually kind of irritate me, um, let me rephrase, the end of it irritates me. <laughs> like. The, the thing that I liked about Ocarina of Time 
here it is. Um, <laughs> it's Ganondorf. Um, we're gonna talk about Ganondorf again, because apparently I can't get him out of my mind. Um, like, Ganondorf was a person, you know? Like, he had his reasons, they weren't great reasons, not it, it, it existentially, not like character writing. Character writing, he was a really cool dude. Um, the, like, they gave him the whole idea, and I am, I am basing it like a little bit less off of Ocarina of Time and more like the lore knowledge you have after playing, um, saying like Twilight Princess or Wind Waker, where you actually kind of get into Ganon's backstory in Wind Waker. Um, and, uh, well, we're at Windhelm. None of my people made it. We'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, but, like, you know, you have this guy from this, basically what amounts to, like, an oppressed community in the desert, um, who wasn't getting aid that they asked for, you know, of, of Hyrule, and that, you know, their culture viewed Hyrule as kind of honestly rightly so like look at the soldiers look at the people in town like even in ocarina of time you talk to people and like they're just i know it's kind of like classic medieval fantasy game fair but all the npcs are just like super shallow and selfish and i like that wind waker just decided that's not bad programming or bad writing that's part of the lore. <laughs> I have the high the high lead people are just kind of shallow and selfish. <laughs> like that's who they are. That's their whole culture is a culture of like insipid extravagance. Um and uh yeah, like, and so, like, you know, the Ganondorf is like, dude, our, our people are having issues, and, like, you know, we're being driven out of our homes or, or something like that, and, uh, you know, can you lend us aid? And they're like, nope, bye, go die in the desert. And, and Ganondorf was like, yeah, that's not a great answer for me. <laughs> and so he raises his army and then tries to take over Hyrule. Like, I feel like that's a good plot line. Like, like, I don't know. I, I just really like that. And then you get Breath of the Wild, which is an amazing gameplay. I, I just love running around Breath of the Wild. Oh, I gotta hear this conversation. I do love you running around. Eat our food, pollute our I can't even hear you over the storm folks. We have to take it aside because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is they're Imperial spies. So you're, you're gonna go, someone who doesn't take a side, immediately to spies. Good job. We got ways of finding out what you really are. Jeez, you have like no justice system, do you? At all. Like, just non-existent. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you here to bully us and tell us to leave? No. You've come to the wrong city, then. Windhelm's a haven of prejudice and narrow thinking. Yep. Unworthy of one such as you. I'm gonna do. Look like those Nords were giving you Nothing trouble. Nothing new there. Most of the Nords living in Windhelm don't care much for us, but Wolf is the worst by far. He likes to get drunk and walk around the Great Quarter, yelling insults at us in the small hours of the morning. Oh, a real charm of that. Mm-hmm. Wolf is like a hate crime waiting to happen. Ah, look at the pumpkin! Oh my god, that one's really cute. It has a nose. <laughs> oh. But yeah, so Breath of the Wild, like, great gameplay. The plot is weird. Like, like seriously, the plot is... I feel like they took a step back in the plot line. And they decided, like, concentrated solely on the gameplay experience. And the plot was like, oh yeah, so like, there's some of these robots and they're supposed to kill the evil thing that's evil for some reason. It's just there. It's just there and it's evil and you should kill it. Like, I feel like that's what they went with. And I'm like, hmm, you know, you could have made this a little bit better, guys. Just a, nice just a tad. Makes for a damn good just don't 
Take a seat and get the cold out. It sounds like it's raining inside. That's so weird. Anyway. Rob the far. The stories about that place are no longer shocking. Well, I want to go there. Especially because I think there's something in there. Monthly events! It's on the third. Okay. Um, exit. And what day is today? I pressed the wrong button! Oh, it's first apart, right? I can see that there anyway. Okay, cool. Alright. I believe I was thirsty. Hungry, slightly thirsty, slightly tired, and sober. You know what? I think, yeah, we've got enough money. Um, first of all, I'm gonna eat. I'm full and I'm no longer thirsty. Yay! And we are going to. Why is there steam in here? That's weird. There's a bathtub. Um, we're gonna rent a room. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. I feel completely warm. Yay! This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Hundred gold, jeez. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. It's I'll like show you to your room. Right this way. Kind of expensive for a room, y'all. That rain is like really loud. Every night, I walk around the gray quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. How did you get in my room? Leave my room. Oh my god, you walking hate crime. I want to use soap. What? It's a cl it's a bathtub. I fine. Apparently, I can't bathe with soap in a bathtub. I mean, it is kind of small. I have a washcloth. I can soap up the washcloth and or something. I need to take that lantern off. <laughs> their character building of Zelda in Breath of the Wild. We're just going to talk about that today. That's what we're going to talk about. It's a Relics of Hyrule game and we're going to just talk about all the Zelda. <laughs> Am I wearing clothes now? Good. Okay. Yay. <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and sleep. Maybe I'll get back onto a normal schedule. That way I'm not running around up at night. Um, but yeah, I really like, uh, there's a, there was a couple things that you can find in the game, and it maybe is slightly spoilery for you all. Um, I lost my twin sister a while back. Jeez, why is everyone in my clothes. room? D were you just watching me while I slept? That is so creepy, you guys. Oh my god. Where are Good my night. friends? My friends wouldn't do this. I really hate Ralph. I just, like... One of these days, I'm gonna visit Borf in the middle of the night. I'm still hungry. I have a bit more. I have a bit more water. Okay, I kind of figured as much. Um, we're just like eating all the things. <laughs> okay, I'm full now. Um, let's just go ahead and buy some more food. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. I am. Where's your sale sign? There we go. Take a look. Ooh. Um. Yes. I'm not even sure that would be tasty in real life, but I like eating it in the game. Ew. Um. Uh, one more soap. 
Okay. Saving those just in case. <laughs> Let's just do that. Okay, I think I think we're good. Enjoy your stay and don't break nothing. Thanks. I seem to have lost my people. I'm pretty sure I can get I can like hack Inigo to get him to follow me again. Don't know about the dog. They might be stuck in that secret grotto for some reason. Sometimes I lose followers. Like they'll they like won't find the exit or something like that. I don't know what it is. And like they'll just magically reappear. Like the game is like, oh yeah, they were supposed to be following you. And they'll just like reload them. Um, I I don't Dude, what are you? Look at look at his like I'm pretty sure that's an accident, but it's like a it's like a two in one tool. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Um, no, they're all they're decorated up. Why is the sound of the rain still there? It's clearly not rainy. I lost my twin sister a while back. Have you ever lost? Yeah, gonna use your enchanter, thanks. Didn't ask her nothing, just walk right on back here. It's always a pleasure to see you. In fact, I'm glad you're here. There's something I'd like to ask you. A pleasure to see you as well, Narayan. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you still had many associates in the profession. My father says we need to just get on with our lives. It's that easy. That's part of the um, wind home thing. Um, I guess it is kind of cool. Maybe this is icicle scraping. Name's new. I'm the cook. I was actually really hoping I could use, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, that amazing tool you have there. <laughs> like, the broom is, like, right through it. Oh my god. Um, eh, never mind. I was gonna chop some firewood. I don't think I'm gonna take a carriage. I'm kind of afraid I'll freeze to death, so... <laughs> I'm gonna just walk. I'm just gonna walk to solitude. Maybe my friends will join up with me and maybe they won't. I was kind of hoping Inigo would because the dungeon I'm heading to is occasionally kind of hard. I Hopefully it won't be. I'm level 13. I can't remember. I should just start keeping track of this. I won't, but I should. <laughs> um... I have tried to do that dungeon at a really low level and it was way too difficult. Uh, but I was a really low level. I, I'm, I think I was like six or seven or something like that. Uh, and then I've done the dungeon. I don't remember when it was just sort of like, oh, this was easy. I think it's closer to, tw I think it was closer to 20 that I was like, oh, here we go. Um, but yeah, if you are, cause you, cause I have my, um, God, what is that thing called? Alternate start. So you can like, just, you can start wherever you want to. Um, and occasionally, like there was a couple of times where I started really close to solitude. So it was like, I'll just go ahead and do this dungeon now. And, um, it was, yeah, it was like, no, d no, <laughs> does not work well that way. like squirrels or something on my roof like I'm hearing like weird noises on my roof like the heck is that I feel like I had interrupted myself in the middle of saying something and now I don't know what that was I remember the act not the content <laughs> Uh, oh, oh shoot. Okay, I was talking about, it might be a little spoilery, um, considering that Breath of the Wild only came out, what, this March-ish? Something like that. I mean, it's been this year anyway. But then again, I feel like 
it was one of those games everyone was scrambling to get so they could play it. And, um, yeah, but, like, okay, so, in the game, I'm just assuming, hopefully you guys have played it, and if not, then I hope this isn't a big spoiler for you, um, so, Zelda and Link, Link has a lot of flashbacks where he and Zelda travel together, like, I, I feel like that was in the trailer, so I don't, I don't feel like that's a spoiler, but, um, so anyway, so like they, they build their relationship there, which is actually really cool, um, in a way. In a way, I'm also kind of like, I'm, I guess I'm just like a stickler for the whole like, but it used to be just like, here's this like rando who walks into the princess's castle who's like, I'm gonna save you. But, um, and no, but this is, it's, it, it was actually a pretty decent story. Like he, um, you know, he was supposed to protect her, or is supposed to protect her, kind of like he didn't necessarily fail on that. Um, and so, like, he was, you know, like, one, like, following her around while she was doing her studies and, and stuff like that, and so he was following around Tyrol because she kept, like, freaking leaving, leaving the castle and going, like, I need to go do things elsewhere, and, um, ooh, maybe you'll get off of it sometime soon, or maybe there's another one, this is a working mill, hmm. it's a working mill, and... I bet you there's only one of those there. I feel like- oh, oh, there's a second! Yes, perfect. Okay. I'm gonna use- get some wood. And because my mind is in the gutter. Use it now, please! There we go. Ooh. Um, yeah, so like, yes, they, you have flashbacks of, you know, basically when he traveled around with Zelda, and, um, and they would talk about stuff. Of course, Link was super quiet. Um, although, I, I do like... So, Link does not have a voice actor, nor does he have any lines of dialogue, per se, in Breath of the Wild. But I am... They do that thing that they do... Um, for sure, Twilight Princess did it. I, I think Wind Waker did it, too. Where, like, the NPCs will reply to Link. Obviously, like, oh, God, no. I'm stuck again. Why? Why are you like this? Why? Why? Maybe if I just do something else, it will... Okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Sometimes it'll do that, and it's really irritating. Because sometimes I can't get out of it. Um, I'm headed approximately the right way, right? <gasps> yes! We could go up to Dawnstar, and then we can cut across. Oh, I really like Dawnstar. It's growing on me. Like a fungus. Anyway. Um, so they do that thing where, uh, Link doesn't, like, say anything, but, like, his character will, like, stop and, like, do hand motions, and, like, he's explaining the situation to someone, and then the NPC will reply as if he did, you just never get to see that dialogue. Um, and it's, a, it's partially, I'm pretty sure they're doing it because it's, it's the video game style of, uh, where you're, so, you're able to kind of, um, they make their main character blank, uh, like, uh, personality lists enough that you can kind of write your own personality on top of the hero and, and make the hero, uh, how you would react. So they're trying not to shoehorn him into a personality type, so, oh my god. Are we, are we gonna do this? are we gonna do this? Yeah, that's right, you walk away. Anyway, so they, they do that so you can, like, put your own, uh, you know, way of replying or, or your own personality onto the hero, which is actually really cool. I, I do enjoy those kind of styles of games. I actually think I may even enjoy them better, um, than the games where they kind of give you, like, a personality to play with. Um, the only, uh, cause 
for me personally, those are like hit or miss because like unless it's a really good, strong personality, we're like, yeah, I want to go play this guy. Um, then I'm just like, I don't care about you. <laughs> like, I don't know. <sighs> But, um, yeah, but I mean, like, I want to play as Link because I've already written my personality on top of him. So, um, oh, jeez. Where are you? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. It's kind of the same thing in Breath of the Wild, where he doesn't talk. Um, it's a little bit more uh, pointed, I guess that's the right word, in, considering that there's so many flashbacks where Zelda's having a conversation with him, and then Link very clearly does not speak, and it's not like one of those situations where he's just like waving his arms or like the NPCs are picking it up, the, the speech for him. It's just like, he's just very stoic and silent. Um, at least in the flashbacks. Um, I feel like he breaks out of that mold, or I have another theory, but I'll, I'll get into it later. Um, like, after he's, uh, basically in the solo adventure part, where, you know, he, he's, this is a spoiler, resurrected, essentially. <laughs> and, um, Yes, okay. Um, but yeah, and um, and I really liked, uh, so you can explore Hyrule Castle, um, especially when you get, I know, I need to find like a lantern or whatever, something. Um, Like, I am freezing to death. Oh, let's just pop our heads into there. That'll warm us up ish. Silver drift. Oh, hey! Haha, <laughs> there's a fairy in here anyway. Never should have come here. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Oh, dang it. I'm just like covered in blood. <laughs> oh, whoops. Nope. I meant to do that. That was just the wrong button. I really wish that sound of the water would go away. That would be great for me. Okay, thanks. How about now? How about when I reload this? You should just go away. But yeah, so, um, you can explore Hyrule Castle, and, uh, and apparently this wasn't, like, I just thought this, because this is how the game is set up, like, you just explore everything, um, but apparently it wasn't, like, a secret section, I was, like, I was, like, browsing an article about, like, secrets in Breath of the Wild that makes the game awesome, or something like that, um, and, uh, and they put, they put this in the secret section. I was like, it was a secret? Like, it wasn't really that hard to find. But in the castle, it's full-on Hyrule Castle, even though it's been, like, semi-destroyed and... It's still raining. The sound is still raining. This is really irritating. Oh. Um. Empty wine bottle. But yeah, so you can you can explore the castle and you can like go into the- I'm pretty sure- Let's see, the king has a room you can go into, Zelda has a room and a study you can go into. You can like explore the dining room and the library and all this kind of stuff and you can find like cool- Basically lore. Um, just more lore stuff. And uh... Nine? And one of those lore things that you can that you can find is, um, of course, you can read Zelda's diary, and um, 
and uh, where and Zelda talks about um, basically Link, uh, like, I mean, she talks about her own stuff too, which is nice because I hate it. Like, I really hated it in Skyward Sword. You read Zelda's diary, and it's literally all about Link, and it's just sort of like, I really hope he's able to do this thing because, I, and I'm like, girl, like. <laughs> I just also feel like um, Zelda doesn't seem like I don't know. That's not what a girl's diary reads like. Like <laughs> it's like have you ever read a girl's diary? I, like it may be about boys, but like it's it's usually not about like I really hope they succeed in this thing. It's mostly like wow he's really hot and I need to ace my finals so I can impress you know like it, it's diaries are supposed to be about being egocentric like you're writing it literally just for yourself so you put all the stuff you want to put in there and it's like it's like a just for you kind of thing um like anyway uh so zelda's diary in this one apparently i'm thirsty you know she was talking about link but she was talking about like her getting to know him because you know her impression of him was very bad at the start. Am I even gonna warm up? I really hope so. Oh, it's very dark. Oh, it's very dark. Nice. Um, and then like as she gets him to open up. Um, she actually writes about it, writes about getting him to open up, um, and she writes about it in her diary, about the whole, like, his, the stress of being the hero is so much for Link that he just doesn't talk anymore, like, he based like, it, uh, it's not that he goes you know, mute in that kind of um, psychological sense where you like don't talk anymore, but he's just very quiet because he's, he's afraid that like any word, any wrong word from him would make something worse. So he just stays really quiet. Um, that kind of whole like having to like represent what a hero is kind of thing. He just, and like these are young kids too. Like he's like 16 or 17 in this. Like, so I completely understand. <laughs> like going, the pressure is too much. I'll just not say anything at all. <laughs> but I, yeah. Um, and I just, I don't know. I really liked, I really liked that. I thought that was a very good piece of like, I don't know, game building. Aha! I did it. All the food. All right. And that sound of the rain is getting on my last nerve. Far from the other side. Okay. Um. But yes. So. Uh, yeah. I, I. I like that. That part of the world building and. I will say, um, he does seem to kind of come out of his shell more, uh, <laughs> after he's resurrected. <laughs> um, and just in terms of, uh, the way that you can reply to people when they ask you questions, it's kind of great. Some of their options are amazing. Um, like in Gerudo Town, which apparently I've been pronouncing that the wrong, like, my entire life. Um, I always said Gerudo, but it's apparently Gerudo. Anyway. Um, I have linguistic opinions about that, but I'm just gonna say that's how they pronounced it, and I paid attention to it for the first time the other day, so <laughs> I was like, oh wait, Urbosa's saying Gerudo, crap. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, so, so when you're in Gerudo town and he, like, literally is pretending to be someone he's not. He's literally pretending to be another person. Is this gonna hurt? I'm gonna do that again. This 
<laughs> A plus. <laughs> I, I very much liked that setup. That was very good. Okay. Oh, we'll just sneak around these. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, there's another one. You better be easy. Yep. I guess I could say that. I level up! Yay! I'm gonna save that in case I need it. I see something sparkly over here. Sparkly. Ow, ow. Ow, that really hurt. Ow, ow, ow. That didn't really hurt all that much. Okay, so we're looking for some type of lever or something. My episode ended, but now I'm kind of like invested in this. Um, huh. Okay. Yeah, this is Silver Drift Flare. Does this have any connection with the Silver Hand? I think that's who those people are. Um, The, the werewolf people. The werewolf hunters. Right? Oh no. Maybe it's just always going to be blocked until I do that quest? Or maybe it's something that's over here? Oh! Oh! Oh no! There it is! Ha! Ah, found it! Yay! Okay, cool beans! But yeah, when you're in like Gerudo Town, uh, when you rent a seal, like a sand seal, like, he does it in a couple other places, but this is the place where it's really obvious that Link has a personality that he was keeping from everybody. <laughs> like, and it's a personality I like, um, which is good. He like cannot resist the stupid puns. He, he can't. Like, every single time. And I, I, my personal opinion is that it's because he's already pretending to be someone else in Gerudo Town, um, that he, it, it alleviates some of his stress about, like, representing what a hero should be. Because he's not a hero in that moment, and no one knows that he's not the hero. He's pretending to be someone else. So he kind of, like, just becomes himself in a really weird way. Um, he lets his, more of his personality seep through and his personality is like 90% stupid puns. And <laughs> I just, there's something about that that I really like. I <laughs> just think that is, that's just kind of perfect. And Cause I feel like that's the way I've always played Blink in the games is <laughs> this little, little brash kid who runs around making really bad puns <laughs> about everything. <laughs> like he's like, look, I may be the hero of time, but I'm absolutely gonna mock this. Um, although, I mean, he's not always mocking, but uh, yeah. <laughs> like, let's seal the deal, and seriously, I'm just, every single time, I, I crack up. Um, Always get the money. Money! That's still there, that'll work. Huh. Nice. I'm hungry! Okay. I still actually haven't found a. Uh... We'll just do this. I'm full! My lantern is empty and I need to level up. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was like, where's the exit? Uh, there's no fairy part yet, right? Unless I just like totally blasted through it. 
Jeez, open the gate. Jeez. Oh man, the word wall the word wall is just right there. So it must be at the end. Oh jeez. Oh. I really don't want to be sucked into the word wall word wall right now. How about you come over here? How about not? Die now, please. Oh jeez. <laughs> I think I caught it <laughs> before it killed me. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do some more health. That sounds great. And let's find um wax key bear trap. Oh, bear traps did look really good. When entering the dwelling you don't own, illuminates a locked container for 120 seconds. During this time, it contains valuable items, blah blah blah. Only incur once in 12 to 60 game hours. Huh. Activate a hostile automaton to lock pick your way into its engine. Oh my god. Oh man, that one was awesome. Hmm. Okay, I I really like the idea of um I really like that one. Though. All right, I'm gonna do wax key just so I can get that up there. I need to go back to it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do lock it. Ah! Death be to you. Yep. I didn't even read it this time, but that's okay. Where are you? Where, where, who's shooting at me? Look, I just killed your lord or something. I don't think. I'm hoping that you don't. You should just lie down. Yes. was anyway. I think I got something else wrong now. Um, ruined book. Okay. Another ruined book. Okay, so is it just my imagination or did I not get any yeah. Zelda things out? Who's attacking me? <laughs> it gives it to me. I'm not even looking at it. <laughs> I never did check you to see. What? Maybe it's hidden somewhere over around here? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting a switch is what I'm hitting. Okay. Okay, so it's not my imagination, right? Like I have not found a Zelda thing. Thank you so much.
I'm really hoping I'll just like come across it. Maybe not. Right back at the beginning, and I have not found my Zelda thing. Where's my Zelda thing, guys? Found gold. At least this place is really small. Like, okay, we're back at the beginning, clearly. I want my Zelda thing before I turn off this episode and I'm not gonna go eat. I'm getting hangry. I'm sure I found my way. This is the end, we'll just go backwards. And I can't hear if there's like a fairy twinkling because the rain is so loud. Also, what was this? Search bandit. Where's I can't even see the bandit. He's like eaten by that bush. Oh my god. Like <laughs> every single time. Zelda thing. Where are you? Zelda thing! I'm looking for you! Getting hungry! Also, I'm developing a headache! Where is the Zelda thing? I don't even know if it's my imagination, but I like feel like I can hear twinkling. But I think it's actually my imagination. Like I feel I feel like I just wanna hear it so hard I'm hearing it. So there's no like secret passages or anything anywhere. Maybe it's just it's in the cell I never checked. Dang it. I guess I never really walked over here, did I? Oh no, that's where we got the 
Let's go read out that thing. Go behind the beaks. Zelda thing, where are you? Probably not, because I would have taken that potion. But there's a dropper. I feel like I definitely... Is there a place I have not gone to yet? Oh my god, there's an entire room. How, how do I... what? There's like whole rooms I'm missing. What is this? I wonder if it because it thinks it's raining, my torches are going now faster. That would really suck. Hard from the other side. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. That's the exit. So how do we get over there? Oh, this was here the whole time. Jeez. All right. That was a really bad idea. Good, good job, me. <laughs> good job, me. Have the bad ideas. <laughs> well, at least I don't have that trap to worry about anymore. <laughs> okay, is it just supposed to be both fish? I guess there's a fish. Can I turn it? Oh, you just hit the handle on a fish. Okay, gotcha. Okay, seriously? Like, <laughs> I'm probably just overanalyzing it, but like, the snake doesn't always have to be bad. <laughs> the fish can be bad too. Have you ever met fish? They're terrible. <laughs> They're terrible creatures. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, the good news is, I think I'm headed in the right direction. <laughs> oh. Things are tough. Okay.
I'm dead. I'm thirsty. What's with all these empty wine bottles? I feel like Bacchus had a party or something in here. Oh my god. I am really hoping there's a key. You know what? Screw it. Dang it. Be systematic about it. Another ominous handle. Just gonna really quick. Probably open the door over there. Oh jeez. You hit me so hard my fourth one out. I'm going through torches like crazy. I bet you it's because it thinks it's raining. Oh my god. I feel sneeze coming on and it's very uncomfortable. Oh my god, my nose, what? Ow! Just like, if you're gonna sneeze, sneeze, do it! <laughs> it again. Closer, I feel like. Let's try this one. Oh my god, you had a candle the whole time. I feel like I checked this and you did it before. I swear to god, if this is. serious. Where's the fairy? Wait, it clearly had a fairy here, yeah? So, so where's the, like, chest or something or the things it was, <laughs> Zelda-like things it was supposed to give me? too. Like, that's it. Like, that's all of the map. There is no other place on the map to check.
very frustrating. I am frustrated. Okay, so it's super overtime. I'm just gonna go ahead and just stop it here and then <laughs> it might look up where the thing is <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what the, we're, we're gonna do that. That's what we're doing, so. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me rant about Breath of the Wild endlessly. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Bye.